first of all, I want to wish all my prideful people a happy Pride weekend. I also want to wish you guys happy Canada Day, which we celebrated on the 1st. And I want to wish my um, US viewers happy Independence Day, happy 4th of July, happy everything. This is just a very happy weekend for a lot of people. And I just really hope that you guys are out there being safe and I hope that you're celebrating. I will be going to New York City in two weeks. So from July 15th to 17th, I'm only going for the weekend and it's just gonna be awesome because I've never actually been to New York City and I'm just really excited to go for shopping and food and all of that stuff. So if you guys are from New York or if you are an avid New York visitor, leave some places down below that I could potentially visit because I just wanna, I'm, I'm hoping I can do as much in the city as I possibly can in the two days that I have there. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. Looking for places to eat, places to shop, and places to see. I am six months natural as of June 29th. I'm wearing a twist out today. This is my first twist out, and I feel like it came out pretty good. And I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna try and see if it can last me a couple days. For this video, I wanted to share with you guys all the things that I've been using in my hair for the past six months, and just pretty much how I've been caring for it. It is a lot more simple this time around. I'm no longer a product junkie. I bought everything under the sun the first time I went natural. And this time around, I've just kind of narrowed it down to the things that my hair needs. I feel like the more things that I introduce into my routines, the more complicated it becomes. And it just kind of, it creates too many steps. So I wanted to show you guys what I use. As uh, simple as that, and if you guys wanted to try them out, you could yourself. If you have any suggestions or anything like that, let me know down below, and then once I run out of these things, and I'll, I'll think about purchasing those things. I have the Proclaim brand. Um, this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hydrating and Reparative Shampoo. And the reason that I picked this up is because I grew up on castor oil. I remember sitting in my bedroom being like maybe five or four years old and my mom would comb my hair and she would take like the natural castor oil and she would make sure to rub it on my roots and I just really kind of that just that's just kind of where it took me back to and I remember how much the castor oil helped my hair so I thought that I would give it a try in the shampoo so the shampoo has a dark brown color it looks just like the castor oil that I had growing up so I use that and this is for dry and damaged brittle hair I picked this up at Sally's Beauty Supply I think it was like 10 bucks um, nothing more than that and I just I use it does it do magic for my hair it cleans it really well and it doesn't feel dry once I rinse it out which a lot of shampoos do tend to do it is also free for you naturals out there who really hate these things in your products it is free of sulfates, um, parab parabens, mineral oil, petroleum, and alcohol, which is obviously a very, very good thing. And then I use the corresponding conditioner. It is the hydrating and reparative conditioner. Um, same thing, free of the sulfates and the parabens and the mineral oils and all of that stuff. I also have the same brand for the leave-in conditioner. This, honestly, I can say like, yes, the shampoo and the conditioner, they hydrate and everything like that. The leave-in doesn't really do much for my hair. I mean, it honestly feels just like the conditioner. I feel like they just kind of separated the two and just put one in, in a bottle and slapped a different label on it. That's how I feel. <clears throat> but it is a leave-in and they tell you that you need leave-ins for your hair. To be quite honest, the leave-in thing is quite new this time around. Um, I just started using a leave-in when I bought these three products. I use water and naturals love water. We do love water. Water is life. It keeps your hair hydrated, keeps it moisturized. It just keeps it good, not dry and brittle. And that is what you want. When I was relaxed, it's quite the opposite. You kind of shy away from water. Um, too much water is no good. This spray bottle I got from the dollar store, it was $1.25, and I just put some sweet almond oil in it. That's pretty much it. 
and I use it when my hair is feeling particularly dry. I just spray some in there, rub my hands through it, and call it a day. I use the Seal Moisture Lock um, from my own line, Ellen Main. I love this stuff. I always tell you guys, or I always tell people that I will never make something that I personally would not use or love. These things I tried and tested out on my own self before I even put them out there. I love this oil. I put some good oil in here, guys. I'm not even kidding you. Um, lots of research and love went into this oil. You only need a little bit, and I use it to either um, just kind of massage it into my scalp, or I use it when I am pulling my twists out from my twist out. I use it when I wash my hair and I'm using the lock method. I use that and then for my twist outs and all of that styles and stuff, I use the Style Whipped Shea Butter Styling Cream. This is also from my line Ellen Main. Love this stuff. For the twist out itself, what I would do is I would part very, very small parts because my hair is still pretty short. So the smaller your twists, the better, the nicer they are more likely to come out. So I would do that and then I would just spray a little bit of water and then I would use a little bit of this. I put it on each individual um, part and then I make sure I pull my comb through it and then I twist it and then I leave it. And then the next day I just pull it out. I rub some oil on my fingers and then I make sure that I run it through my hair. And then I use just a little bit of oil and I go over each twist and then I just kind of twist it in the opposite direction to unravel it so that I'm pulling on my hair as little as possible and this is the result that I get. For tools, I have my Denman brush. I've had this Denman brush since the first time I went natural so it's been around for a while and I just have a rat tail comb. And then the last thing that I want to show you guys is the gel that I use to slick down my hair. I mean, you guys have seen this before but I have like the small tub and then I went to Sally's and I saw like a big tub and I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna get the big tub. It was $11, which is a ridiculous price and I just used that to, you know, slick down my hair. But my hair is too long now, weirdly enough. It is longer now, so it's harder to slick down and whenever I try it, it just kind of looks like this weird slick down in the front and then just curly in the back. But it is also really good for doing twist outs and it will help you to get more defined twists and at the end of the day a more defined twist out. But I'm really excited to see um, pretty much how my hair responds to all these things as it grows and as it gets longer. I'm six months in, looking forward to the next six months. Hopefully, you know, it's better than the first two times. But that's pretty much everything I use in my hair. As you guys can see, it is not a lot and it works for me. So that's pretty much it for my natural hair. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye now.